Hey there, this is Michelle Pesco Salido, and in this training video, I'm gonna actually walk you through how to set up custom reporting for your Facebook ads. So normally when you create a Facebook ad, there's typically just some standard reporting options that you have right here. So you've got performance, setup, delivery, um, we've got engagement. So if I were to click on engagement, I can see that I've gotten six post reactions, two saves, this is a very brand new ad. Um, and then if you've got videos, you can look at the video engagement here. We can go into performance and clicks and we can actually see how many link clicks, how much we've reached, what's the frequency, what our cost is, um, cross device, if that's something that you're doing. Um, we've got offline conversions, targeting and creative. Um, that's actually, I don't have a lot of options there, so we can't look at that. If you're doing uh, message engagement, you know, that might be something also that could come up. And then you've got bidding and optimization. So again, this is showing what my budget is. This is basically showing the cost, um, how much I've spent and the cost per link click. So these are kind of the standard options that you have. So let me actually go back to our other account so I can show you this a little bit better, um, how we have it set up. So um, while those are really great, the standard ones, there may come a point where you're creating different types of ads with multiple different objectives and you really want to track more than just what they're giving you here, such as how many leads you got from the ad or maybe um, how many add to carts you got or how many purchases you got. Maybe you want to look at the click through rate. Maybe you want to look at what your cost per click is. So there's a lot of different options, even engagement. Maybe there's just a bunch of these different ones that you want to look at on one report. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to, want to come down here to customize columns. So we're going to click on that. And then from there, this is right now what is being shown. So I typically will just wipe all of these out. Um, I'll click on each one of these. So let's just go ahead and I'm just going to do that real quick so I can show you. Just hit the little X and we'll go through here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my own custom reporting for driving traffic to our Shopify store. So what are some of the things that I'm going to want to look at? Well, um, I definitely am going to want to look at frequency. I'm going to want to look at the relevancy score, which that's going to be going away here soon. Um, ad spent. Um, I'm going to want to probably look at Let's go down through here. And you can see on the left here, you can actually go skip down to like conversions quicker if you don't want to scroll through them. And you can also search up here if you want to do that. Um, but some of the things that I want to track is, you know, add to cart, add payment info. Um, I want to see the cost of that. There's, um, there's a lot of options here. You know, we've got leads. If you want to track leads, this particular type of ad does not have leads because it's going to a store. Um, we can look at our return on ad spend. We can look at the purchases, um, the cost per purchase. There's, um, there's a lot of different options here. So I'm going to check all these. Oops, not that one. Yeah, I'm going to check that one there. We're going to do the cost because I want to see the cost. And then um, if we go back up to clicks, uh, some of the things that are really important are like um, unique click-through rate or click-through rate's really important to follow because that's gonna help you determine how clickable your ad is. Um, cost per link click. And um, that's pretty much it, I think, to kind of start with. Um, impressions is pretty good too. So let's just type in impressions, see if that was checked. I'm gonna put that up here. So we got impressions. Um, we're going to also look at reach, reach is here. So I added all those over here. Now what's great about this also is, is we can slide these up so they show which one you want to show first in the reporting. All right, so we're going to do all that. And then from there, what you want to do is if you want to save this reporting to always be available in that drop down box, you would click on save preset and then you could name this. So Shopify, I'm going to call this Shopify reporting and then you click apply. And then once you do that, now you'll be able to see it in the drop down box. And so I'm already in this right now. That's where it's showing the Shopify reporting. So remember, um, you know, I added in frequency. So now let's just take a look at this one ad here. We'll go over to the ad set. Um, we can see, you know, um, the different options that are available. How many people added it to the cart? How much was spent? The cost per added to cart? Um, let's see. We can look through click-through rate. We can look at the impressions and reach. We can even go down to the ad level and you know read through those also. Go back to the campaign level. And again, let's scroll all the way back. You can see we can see the frequency. 
um, how many people added to the cart. And so that's how you can set up custom reporting. So maybe you're doing ads that are video ads. And so what you might want to do is come in here and do some customized columns where you are actually tracking um, engagement or, you know, maybe you want to see how many people view 25% of your video or 50% or 75%. So you can set up the custom reporting, just name, you know, what I would do if I were doing it for videos, I would name this video reporting and then just always remember to click this box to, box to save it as a preset or it won't save it. Click apply and that'll always be available to you. So that's it. That's how to set up custom reporting. So if you got a lot of value in this, just be sure to click the like button, the subscribe button, uh, feel free to share it and I'll see you in the next training video. Bye-bye.